good morning student i am going to teach you about the course computer communication myself dr a samuda working as assistant professor in the department of computational intelligence my research interest is a deep learning data science machine learning artificial intelligence iot and data analytics in second unit i am going to going to give a introduction about ipv4 addressing address space and ipv4 address notation classful addressing in the internet we can connect million or billions of devices in a network in order to identify a device in a network we used a ip address internet protocol address ipv4 address is a 32 bit address which is used to uniquely universally define the connection of a device the device may be any system or router since the size of ipv4 address is a 32 bit so the number of address space required in this is 2 power 32 it is unique and universe why it is called unique is the device on the internet can never have the same IP address. In order to identify the individuality, we assigned a unique IP address. And universe means in the, net, in the network, the address system must be accepted by any host within the internet. So we can represent the IP addresses in two different types of notation, in binary notation and decimal dot to decimal notation. In binary notation, the total size is 32 bits, which is divided into four bytes. The space, space is separated by dot. In dot and decimal notation, four number decimal representation separated by the dot symbol. So this, this, uh, this is a binary representation of IPv4 address. 128.11.3.31 is a decimal representation of IPv4 address. When you take any IP address, it is a combination of a network part and the host part. So the network part is assigned by the global authority, by the organization, whereas the host part is assigned by the local authority of the organization. We can change the IP address from one notation to another one notation. In the coming slide, I will brief about that. So now consider the problem, change the following IPv4 addresses from binary notation to uh, dot or decimal notation. So, first take the problem. First problem here, the given a number is uh, written here. It is a four bytes of data. Consider the first byte. So, in this first byte, uh, the particular uh, uh, decimal here, I applied 8421 code. So the particular uh, decimal values are uh, added. So here the 128 bit is enabled and the last bit one is enabled. So 128 plus, plus one equal to 129. Similarly, if you consider the second byte, it is having the value 401011. If you applied 8421 code, so it is a summation of eight plus two plus one. Finally, you will get 11. So the third byte also the same data so that you will get 11. Consider the fourth byte of data, the triple one, zero, four, uh, four, one. So this, this is nothing but 128. This is nothing but 64 bit. This is a 32 bit. The, um, this is a 16 bit is a zero. So remaining eight, four, two, one. So this, all the enabled bits are uh, uh, su summarized. So finally you will get the value 239. So for the given binary uh, notation, the corresponding decimal representation is 129.11.11.239. Similarly, you can change the following IP address from dotted decimal notation to binary notation. Consider the first byte, uh, triple one. If you divide that value by uh, two, uh, you will get uh, the uh, reminder like this. You have to write the uh, binary representation starting from uh, bottom to top. So it is nothing but... Uh, um, 0, 1, 1, 0, and triple 1. Similarly, the second byte of data is uh, also calculated. Uh, you will get a triple, ones, uh, triple 1 and triple 0. Uh, the third byte of data, 45, also divided by 2. You will get the answer 1, 0, double 1, 0, 1. Similarly, fourth byte of data also calculated, which is nothing but 1, double 0, triple 1, 0. So finally, if you summed all the four uh, parts, you will get the um, corresponding uh, binary representation. So this is the way you can change the given IP address from one notation to another one notation. 
in some cases instead of ip address we can represent the system using domain name system domain name system and the example www.google.com so this is a, a domain name system so the google is a, a server name worldwide web consortium okay and the dot com is represent the uh, represent us it's used for commercial purpose so the ip address identifies the interface which is capable of sending and receiving the ip uh, datagram packet so each host is having only one interface whereas a router in a network is having multiple interfaces the ip uh, v4 address is having a, a header structure like this so the 32 bits uh, data are divided into several parts version header length types of service total length identification etc so the version indicates the version of ip uh, v4 address the internet header length four bits uh, length it, it, it indicates uh, the number of uh, blocks represented in the ipv4 and the type of service indicates the desired service expected by the packet before uh, delivery the total length indicates the length of the ipv4 packet whereas the uh, identification indicates this packet identifies the ipv4 packet or not so if this field is selected by the source means it is a fragmented all the fragments fragmented data are re, uh, reassembled in the destination side the flags three bits it identifies the flags for the fragmentation uh, process if the flag value is one means to indicate whether the ip4 packet might be fragmented uh, and another value to indicate whether more fragments are required or not then the fragment offset 13 bits it indicates the position of the fragment relative to the original ip v4 data and the time to leave indicates the maximum number of links on which ip v4 packet can travel before uh, discarding the data packet and the protocol 8 bits it identify the upper layer protocol header checksum 16 bit uh, data it provides the checksum of the ipv4 uh, header only and also it has 32 bit um, uh, source address and destination address and optional field also we can uh, classify the ip addressing into two types classful and classless addressing consider the classful address it is divided into five category according to the net id host id it can be classified so class a address is uh, taking the large number of host or router maximum um, the range is 0 to 127. so in class a address the first byte is a net id remaining three bytes are host id in class b uh, in class b the, fir the first two bytes are net id the remaining um, byte uh, three and four are host id consider the class c address the first three bytes are net id the last byte is host id so this is a classful address representation uh, in a binary form. The classful address is uh, leading the uh, uh, value binary uh, digit is 0. In class B, it is 10. In class C, it is a double one zero. Class D, triple one zero. It is starting with a triple one zero. In class E, four one. So based on this leading uh, binary value, we can uh, identify which class the IP address is. Most probably, the class D uh, address is used for a multicast uh, purpose, and the class E is used uh, for future reservation purpose. So we can find the class of uh, IP address in two way. In binary notation, based on this uh, representation, we can uh, we can uh, classify them. So if the leading uh, value is zero, it is class A. If the leading value is one zero. The given address is class B. If the leading value is 110, it is class C. So like that, it goes on. If in dotted decimal notation, according to the range, according to the range of the value, we can uh, classify them into either class A, B, or C. So if the range is 0 to 127, it is class A. 128 to 191, it is class B. 192 to 223, it is class C. Uh, likewise, uh, uh, 240 to 255 means so that is a class E uh, address. So this diagram uh, represents how the address spaces are occupied by different class of address. So uh, the class A occupied 50% of address space. Class B occupied 25% of the uh, overall address space. 
class C occupied 2 power 29, which is a 12.5% uh, uh, of the uh, overall space, where class D 6.25, class C, uh, D and E occupied 6.25. So this table clearly explain about different types of classes and the leading bits in the binary notation, the net ID representation, host ID representation, number of networks, and the address per the network, starting address of each class and the ending address of each class. Uh, these are the sum of the problem to convert the given IPv4 address from binary notation to uh, daughter decimal notation. Whatever the, the problem I discussed previously, we can apply the same rule here also. This is another one problem to find the class of each address for the given binary, uh, binary notation and daughter decimal notation. So uh, instead of uh, doing uh, one uh, uh, byte by byte, uh, simply we can identify this uh, uh, this um, this binary is starting with the leading zero. So it is a class A address. It is uh, starting with the value one one zero. Okay, so it is the first two bits are um, one one. So the third bit also zero. So it is a class C address. In the dotted decimal notation, the first byte is fourteen, which is in the range. Uh, class A, whereas uh, 252 is in the range of class E. So, based on the leading uh, bit value and the decimal value, we can easily identify which class uh, it is having. Uh, the, uh, in the communication, uh, we can do the data transmission in unicast and multicast uh, purpose. The class A, B, and C are used for unicast data transmission whereas the class D is used for multicast data transmission and class E is used for future reserved uh, purpose. In the classful addressing, the large part of the available addresses are uh, uh, wasted. So to overcome that, uh, the subnetting concept is uh, coming. Each and every class is having a different uh, subnet mask. Coming to the class A address, the subnet mask, uh, the default subnet mask for class A address is 255. Dot. 0, .0, .0. Uh, it is a slash 8 CIDR uh, value. Whereas a class B, the first, uh, eight, uh, first uh, two uh, 8 bits are having um, a 1. So 255.255.0.0. The CIDR value for class B address is slash 16. Similarly, class C address, the first three bytes are uh, having the value 1. Um, so that is used for a net ID. The last one byte is used for host ID. So the corresponding default mask for that class C address is 255.255.255.0. The CADR value for this is slash 24. In classful addressing, it is obsolete and it is replaced the, the, ex, the extra uh, memory space or uh, effectively utilized by the classless addressing. So this is a symbolic representation of IPv4 addressing x dot y dot z dot t. Each uh, each um, uh, yeah, variables are uh, having a uh, eight bit uh, data. So totally thirty two bit size slash n. N defines the mask value. In order to identify the first address in the block, we can we can um, we can shift the rightmost thirty two minus n bits to zero. So for that, one problem also given, the block address is granted to a small organization. The one of the addresses is given 205.16.37.39 slash 28. Now, the problem is to find out the first address in the block. So convert the given address into corresponding binary form. Then it is of slash 28 CIDR value. So if, if, we say, if we say 32 minus 28, which is nothing but 4, so the 4 bits, the rightmost bit to 0. So it has the value, this one. So triple one zero. If we change this 4 bits into 0, we will get the first address. So convert this 4 bit 0 and triple one change it into 4 zero. We will get the corresponding decimal notation 205.16.37.32. So this is the first address for the given IP address, uh, 205.16.37.39. Similarly, to find out the last address in the block, we, that can be found by setting the rightmost 32 minus n bit to 1. So consider the same IP address. Okay, 32 minus 28, 4 bits. 
so that rightmost four bits are changed into one. So now this four rightmost four bits are changed into one. Uh, we will get the corresponding decimal notation dot four seven. So two not five dot sixteen dot thirty seven dot four seven is the last address for this uh, network. Similarly, we can also find the number of address in the block. Okay, using the formula two power thirty two minus n for the given IP address. So two power thirty two minus twenty eight, which is nothing but two power four, which is equal to sixteen. So this is uh, in this way we can calculate um, we can calculate the number of addresses for the uh, given uh, IP address. Uh, 